Next, we are going to talk about onto function. Okay. A function f from set A to set B is an onto function, or sometimes we call it subjective. If and only if A is in the set of B, there is at least one A in the set of A such that f of A is equal to B. Okay, informally we say that function f from A to B is an onto function if and only if every output is possible. For example, you just look at this uh, pictures. Okay, f is a function from A to B. Okay, this is A, this is a B. Okay, you can see that every output or every element in the code domain can have a connection or relation from at least one element or one member in the domain set or set of a okay for example this f is a on two function as you can see that all the member in the domain are possible which means that there is another member in the set of domain a that has a connection with the members in the set of B. So um, your job is to find whether a given function is an onto function. Okay. For example, let's say that f is a function from the real number r to the real number r f of x is equal to 4x minus 1 for all x in the set of r determine if this is an onto function just add an extra page here so f is a function for x equal to 4x minus 1 okay is this a onto function? Okay. So in order to check if a function is an onto function, we basically have to check if the codomain of the function has at least one member in the domain of the function. So for example, f is a function from the real number r to the real number set r okay so the problem is now we have to check if all the real number in the codomain there has at least one member in the domain there so basically we have to check if let's say for y in there that is an x such that y is equal to 4x minus 1. For example, for example, you can say let's say y is equal to let's say 0. Okay. Can you find an x such that if you use an, a function f of x equal to 4x minus 1, you get a y equal to 0. As you can see, that if you substitute x equal to 1 over 4, you get y equal to 0. Okay. Similarly, let's try another example. Let's say y equal to 1. So if y equal to 1, can you find an x such that when you substitute x into fx is equal to 4x minus 1, y will be calculated equal to well, you can see if you substitute x equal to what? 2 2 divided by 4 okay, you can get 2 minus 1, right? You can, so you can get like 4 times 2 times 4 minus 1, which is equal to 1 which is what you need Let's do let's do the minus. Okay, y equal to one. Can you find x such that 
when you substitute the x you get minus one so you can see that if you substitute minus 1.4 you get that And if you keep substituting, if you if you think of keep thinking of the values of y, then you make sure that you can find all the x for that value of y. Uh, then it shows that f of x is on true function. Okay. So if you keep checking the values of y. Then you can find the x for the corresponding value of y, as we did earlier. So you just keep checking, checking. But as you know that. This is a set of real numbers, so it's an infinite set. You will not be able to check all of them. Okay, so you have to think about the, the case that is extreme, the case that will not be able to make this, will make, will make this case, uh, will make this statement false. Okay, as you can substitute more and more, you see that this is never going to be any y that will not, you will not be able to find x for this. In fact, if you write a graph, y equal to 4x minus 1, if, if the y is at x is equal to 0, y is equal to minus 1, just something like that, if x is equal to 1, y is equal to 3, so something like that, and something like that. Oh, sorry. Do I could do one? So it should be this side. Do I could do one? So it's like three and four. But you can see that actually this line goes into here. And then you can see that all the values of y, as I try to uh, draw a line from the graph down to map to the value of x, you can always find the value of x. So this we can say f of x equal to, I should say f of x is on to function. Okay. See another one. Let's say that if I similar function, sketch, h of x is equal to 4x minus 1, where h is a function divided by from a integer set to another integer set. Okay. So let's say if this is a onto function, similarly, we can, um, by example, okay, let's see. So h of x equal to 4x minus 1, where h is a function from integer to integer set. You can see that this is easy to show that it's actually not a, a an onto function. Okay. For example, I can say that, let's say y is equal to let's say um, one okay can you find a value of x such that when we substitute x into h of x you get the values of y equal to one you can right what is it x is equal to one over four however the values of x equal to 1 over 4 is not visible is not is not the answer you know because x is not an integer right and remember the domain of the x has to be integer 
Okay, so in this case, we will say that when y equal to 1, we cannot find x. So this is just one example that made this statement onto false, which means that the function is false. The function is h of x is not is false, so you can say h of x function is not onto function. Okay. So basically, you just have to when you keep when you ask if this function is onto. First, you should try to substitute and find the values. Okay, you substitute the value of y. You're trying to find the value of x such that when you substitute that x into the function that you are checking, you get the you get uh, the answer y. Okay.